Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try the Sam's Choice Shells and Cheese, ready in three minutes. Uh, these were at Walmart for a dollar, so uh, not, not too awful expensive, they're pretty cheap actually. Um, this one is the Classic Aged Cheddar. It's enriched macaroni product, enriched macaroni product, with cheese sauce. Not a macaroni, just a macaroni product. No synthetic flavors or dyes, nine grams of protein per serving. So Classic Aged Cheddar, sounds good. 340 calories if you eat the whole bowl. And there's all this stuff for it. Wow, the sodium's 1,220 milligrams of sodium in this thing. So it's a bowl full of noodles and salt. That's what it is. So microwave directions, we're going to remove the lid and the cheese packet. We're going to add water to the stir to the fill line. Make sure you stir it up after you add the water. Uh, microwave uncovered on high for three minutes. Is that right? Yep, three minutes. Uh, do not drain and um, stir in the cheese sauce packet. And that's it. Um, one thing when you do put this in the microwave, make sure you put something underneath of it. Uh, a, a couple paper plates. I put one paper plate under these and it soaks through. Uh, maybe a paper plate and a paper towel or two just to soak up the moisture. Um, something because uh, it almost always boils over on me. So, so there it is. You're going to fill it up to that line right there below my finger with water. Stir it up and then get it in the microwave for three minutes and I'll be back. Hey, it is out of the microwave and uh, you just stir it up really good at first and just get it all the moisture mixed in. It did overflow a little bit, not as bad as other ones have, but it, it did overflow a little bit. So it feels very sticky. So I'm hoping the cheese will take care of that. So I, I cut the cheese packet open. We're just gonna squeeze it in there. Wow, that's some orange cheese. I think that's some aged fake cheese. That'd be imitation cheese. That's government cheese right there. All right. So stir this up. I don't know if they still give government cheese out. They used to give government cheese out. I don't know what that is. Okay. So I'm gonna let this cool off because it's super hot. And I'll be back. Okay, it's had time to cool off. So here's the bite I'm gonna take. Um, it reminds me of a Velveeta cheese. It's very, very salty. I can tell you that right now. Normally, even the sodium, when it is high in the meal, I can't literally feel and taste the salt. I can literally feel and taste the salt in this meal. I mean, I can feel the saliva drawing out of my mouth as it is. Um, very, very salty. That being said, the flavor's pretty decent. If you like the flavor of Velveeta, which I do, I like Velveeta, um, you would probably like this meal. The pasta is a little on the sticky side. I mean, it's it's cooked well. It's not hard. It's not squish, squishy. That's a little squishy, but it's all stuck together and clumpy. So, um, so anyway, that's the texture you're dealing with. Overall, it's an okay meal. Way too many, so, too much sodium for what it is, and uh, the calories are pretty high too. For a dollar, it, it's okay. I'm gonna give it a three. It's definitely not the worst macaroni and cheese meal I've ever had, but it's definitely not the best either. There's better ones. Um, like Marie Callender has a really good macaroni and cheese meal. I think Banquet has one. Anyway, there's better ones out there. So um, you might want to try those over this one. They cost a little more, but they also taste a lot better. So, um, so anyway, for an instant, quick macaroni and cheese, this is okay. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll catch you next time.